evidence is going to show. That we are under some of the most vicious lions fabricating. Like 
a minute to society. So they added several mini strikes on that video and audio that you just heard. And they added several statements that I did not say.
some reason. But you hear all these other things that I did not say. That same TRA will have the statements of Khalil Brown saying that he saw me take three strikes with that shotgun. shot, but there were several shots added to the wall to make it look like I was aimed at her head. That's what the evidence is going to show.
pleading not guilty to the charges of premeditated murder, attempted murder, aggravated child abuse or battery, arson, resisting arrest without violence. And while I'm at that, the evidence is going to show that they tased me for no reason. because they didn't want you to know the truth. And it might sound far-fetched, but I guarantee you, we're going to see who the liars are before it's all said and done. Mark my words, because my family lies will take it. she was on life support. When she was born, two pounds, two ounces, and couldn't breathe on her own, it was me who fought to keep her alive. But all of a sudden, I just want to take her life. I'm going to be showing with evidence several reasonable reasons to doubt the state's allegation against me. The evidence will show that the state cannot prove that I premeditated and killed anyone because I didn't have any time to reflect or plot and plan as if um, everything happened suddenly and spontaneous. I responded out of pure instinct and heat of passion. the objection as to that particular argument regarding Ms. Barron being born prematurely. All right? You may continue on, Mr. O'Neill. I didn't even state the basis of the objection. Um, it's, I ruled, Mr. O'Neill, okay? I understand, but I have to state the basis of my objection, right? 
Well, that is correct, and, and I just assumed what the objection is. So go ahead and state it for the record, Mr. Harmon. It's Russell Harmon. That's sustained. The evidence will show that she threatened to kill me with a knife just a few weeks, just a few weeks before the incident, and she was angry about my relationship with my other child, Ron. And about the fact that we had to be cordial for our newborn son. And the evidence will show that they have been going back and forth and arguing on Facebook and by telephone that whole afternoon before the incident. The evidence will show that me and my son was at my mom's house while I was putting brakes on my aunt's car. Me and my son spent the whole day at my mom and dad's house working on the car. When we came back home, I never knew she was arguing with my child mom, my other child's mom, the whole day. That's what the evidence will show. Evidence will show that my daughter was prematurely born. She was autistic. My son Ronnie was diagnosed at the age of three with developmental delay and has a history of SLD. The evidence will also show that he was present but does not remember accurately or consistently what happened for many reasons, making him unreliable when it comes to the actual facts. also has been diagnosed with PTSD as he should be because this is a very traumatic thing that he went through. He also was diagnosed with major depression disorder, intermittent confusion, and delirium. evidence is going to show, the evidence and testimony will show that Ronnie Flair, formerly known as Ronnie O'Neill IV, may have been coached on what to say by Can family members. Can I see the argument? And or oh, law wait, Hold on, wait, hold on. I will overrule the objection. Thank this, you, this, Mr. O'Neill, again, jury, this is what both sides believe the evidence is going to show. All right? And again, you will be the ultimate determiner of what the facts are. You may proceed, Mr. O'Neill. Thank you, Your Honor. And these are also actual facts that Mr. Harmon left out when he told you about the report of his former psychologist. When he told you that he was adopted by his family members, which didn't work out as well, and he had to be placed with another family, which is now the Blair family. In that same report, it talks about how he may have been coached by family members. The evidence is going to show that my son was adopted by a detective who formerly worked in this case. Whom he now lives with. I don't have a problem with that because he needs care. But I do have a problem with Mr. Blair being involved in this case, being called as a witness, being the new father of my son, and now he's being called as a witness when he couldn't, 
could possibly have been coached by his new father, who is law enforcement. All right, and again, um, Mr. O'Neill, I'll rule the objection. Again, this is what Mr. O'Neill is asserting the facts will be. You may proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. The evidence will show and prove that very vital evidence was definitely tampered with, which was a strategic omission to cover up the facts of this case making much more of the evidence unreliable. As I know for a fact, it was altered as well. The evidence is going to show that the 911 call of Kenyatta Barron is not compatible with what Khalil Brown saw and heard outside of my home. Reasonable doubt that will be 